Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel once again with another build video. Today, as you can see, we're going to be taking a look at the VW Beetle. So this is an interesting one. A few people have been asking me for it, so I thought I'd go ahead and build it. Uh, there's been a lot of different variations that people want me to or want to see this car built in, but I decided to choose it for drag racing just because it's something different. I think the off-road build you guys have probably seen quite a bunch. A lot of people have been doing the off-road build, so I... Uh, you know, I was thinking about doing something a little bit different, maybe some something for drag racing, see if this beetle is actually any good for it. So this is what I ended up building this for. Well, I got the derelict for it. So this is another derelict vehicle, as you can see, that's why it looks the way it looks right now, all rusty and stuff like that. So you have to basically find all the parts, put it together, and then you get the beetle in this video. Also, I am sick, so I'm sorry if my voice just decides to go halfway through this video. I did end up having to sort of just stop this morning as I was having a conversation with someone. And my voice completely just went, so if it goes through the middle of this video, it'll just be really funny for you guys to listen to. But I am sick, I have a cold, so that's probably why I sound so nasally and stuff like that. But anyway, let's get back to the build. And again, thank you everybody for just supporting the build, the build videos. They're doing absolutely amazing on the channel, and thank you guys very, very much for that. So if you guys do enjoy it, please like the video. It'll get more people to watch it, and you pretty much enjoy it just, to, just as much as you guys are enjoying the build videos. So thank you guys very much for watching. So also... Before I go on, uh, if you have any suggestions for any future builds on the channel, let me know down in the comments below. Even if you've already mentioned them in previous videos, it's easier if you just keep saying them over and over again and I get to see them. Uh, it's it's sick. Obviously, don't spam on every single video, but it's, it's good to see that people are uh, wanting to see more and different types of builds. So if you guys want to see anything specific, let me know down in the comments. Alright, so I ended up building this thing to level 310 and did that for a reason is so I can actually unlock super builds. So I don't know how the super builds actually work. Will they automatically add parts onto the vehicle? Yes, they do. They will automatically add parts onto the vehicle. Does that mean though that I am not allowed to change anything else? So let's say I want to have, if I put the super build on, right? Because that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to go ahead and get this thing, put the super build on. I'm just going to buy it anyway. I have a lot of money to do this anyway. That looks insane. Can I still change stuff on... I can still change stuff on the car, even though it's a super build. So this is what the super build looks like on the drag beetle. That looks insane with no arches. Oh my god. That is a serious, serious beetle right now. Holy. Oh my god, that looks crazy. That looks really, really crazy right now. Alright, well I'm going to take a look at some of the rest of the parts that you can actually add on this thing, so I don't really just have the parts already added on splitter i'm just wow you can you can actually add the splitter onto this even though that looks insane i don't know i feel like with a splitter this thing lo would look absolutely crazy um you can still add the same old kits i mean obviously some of the parts you still can't add on because they won't match with the rest of the kits for the fenders um yeah you can still add the parts to it you can add wide Arches, if you really wanted to, you can add some other arches. That looks sick as well. Again, this is too for drag racing. I'm just going to have a look and see what some of the parts here are. And which ones I kind of want to put on. Because I kind of do want to put some parts on. I don't want to leave it like fenderless. I think I'm going to go with the ones. Um, either that... Yeah, these ones. The ones that look like this. It's just like part fenders, sort of. Um, I like these. I like these a lot. They don't look that that insane. Anyway, for the side scopes, we've got a carbon fiber strip on the side. Kind of tempted to leave that on because it actually looks pretty good. Uh, for the front end, it looks a little bit bare. I'm also tempted to just slap on a splitter. I don't know why. It's a drag car. I mean, keeping the front end is actually good and all, but like, I don't know if this is going to actually look good with a splitter. It just has no front end. Is, that, is it even connected to anything? I can't even tell if it is. It's probably... I don't think it's connected to anything. The splitter. There's no bumper down there to be connected to, to it. Anyway, so for the wheels as well, we also have the mirrors that we can actually change. Do some stuff as well here. I'm probably just gonna change them to these uh, street style mirrors. They actually do look kind of good, especially on the dry car. Now for the for the wheels, I'll get to those in a second. Rear bumper, we can we actually change anything on the rear? But we can't actually add rear bumpers onto this thing. I definitely don't want to do that. The fuser, uh, obviously we can't do anything because we have a wheelie bar, and then obviously the wheelie bar itself is there. We could change the license plate. We could change the trunk lid. Well, actually we can't. Wait, we can do that. Oh my. Jesus, we can put wings on top of wings. <laughs> this is absolutely crazy. And then obviously we can we can have every other type of wing added on. 
This looks insane. Tail lights we could change. Oh, we can. We can just change the any tail lights that we want. I do like the side strip LEDs though. I think they look pretty good. So this is like one of the quickest builds I think I've ever done right now. The exhaust. Oh my god. That is sick. I've never actually done like the derelict build before. I've tried it with the uh, the C10 truck, and I've never shown it to you guys, which I'm actually disappointed in because I ended up getting rid of all the parts from the truck. Um, I still have it, but I ended up getting rid of all the parts. I kind of like the single, just big exhaust coming out of the back, but I also do like the Pagani style quad exhaust. I don't know. I'm gonna put these on. They just look. <laughs> it just looks insane. Oh my god. Well. I don't know what else to show you guys for this thing. I mean, that's pretty much it. Oh, the roof. Can we change the stuff on the roof? We can add a roof light bar if I really wanted to. Oh, there it goes. My voice. Oh, my God. It actually really hurts to talk right now. But there's a bunch of stuff that we can change the roof, I guess. No, not really. We can just add the... We can <laughs> Why are we allowed to add the... Uh, it's, not, it's not like a detachable roof. What's it called? It's like a, um, it's like a sunroof, but not really. I mean, obviously, we can change some... Stuff for the highlights. I'm gonna keep these uh, blue ones, those light blue ones that are already on it right now. But that's pretty much it for the build. There's not really a lot of stuff that we can do to this after we've uh, added the uh, the super build stuff on it. And also, I'm not gonna spend a lot of money buying all these parts. But you can see what we can actually add on and what we can't. Obviously, the diffuser we can't really see anything here because the wheelie bar is on and I can't really take it off. Oh, I can't actually take it off. I'm gonna do that just so I can see what the diff never mind. I can't see what the diffusers are. Um, Okay, well, I think wheels, let's go through the wheels, see if I can change to something else. I mean, the wheels, I kind of like keeping them as, like, drag drag style wheels. I don't really want to go with anything, um, anything else other than that. I love these wheels. These wheels look really, really good, but I've used them on previous builds before. Uh, honestly, I think keeping the, the normal wheels are fine. Jesus. Keeping the normal drag wheels are fine. There's, again, there's maybe one or two other sets of wheels that I could probably choose for this thing. I'm just going to try to go, like, nice and quick through these, see if I can find, like, a decent set of, uh, of wheels that maybe I can fit on this thing. Actually, the rear wheels are fine. I think I should just change the front. The front wheels, I think, would be really, really good. For the tires, there's a couple of different types of, tri of tires we could choose in this thing. I like these quite a lot. I'm gonna put these on. Uh, they're not like full-on super slick tires um, for for drag racing, so I'm kind of, kind of a fan with the way they look. Again, for the front wheels, I think I'm gonna go with uh, with something. I don't know. I'm not gonna make them like super super wide, but I'm gonna get like something that look uh, kind of interesting for the front end. I'm gonna make these a little bit smaller in size as well. Uh, I don't really want anything too crazy again. I just want something to sort of stand out on the front. And again, like I said, I'm gonna try and make them small so they look like they're supposed to be like drag wheels. But again, the front ones don't really matter too much. This is uh, These are literally there just for stabilization. Um, Probably put these SSRs on, to be honest, or maybe some some works. I don't know, something nice and simple. I uh, definitely don't want to go with like super super deep dish wheels. Uh, these just remind me of Mazda wheels, these 1552s. Um, these like simple works look good. Again, I don't want to go with full on dish. These 1552s, that's perfect. They actually do look really really good. And then again, rim size. I'm gonna change to as small as possible. I don't think we can change the rim size on the rear end. Uh, oh, I can. I can get them to be even smaller, so we can have even more tire. For this thing to to play with, so I'm honestly pretty happy with the way this thing turned out. There's uh, there's really, really not a lot of stuff that I can change on this thing. Nothing else that I can really add on that I want to keep on on this thing because I mean we've kind of built it for drifting and that's that's kind of wanted to do for it for for this thing. So for the performance customization, there you go. That's everything that I have added on. I just wanted to get this thing to over level 300 again, just to show you guys pretty much uh, the derelict super build that I can actually add on. And uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, if I go to... Well, I can't even go to this because it's on the super build. If I go to library, uh, let's have a look and see what sort of paints people have here. Now, a lot of people have been telling me to choose... Or not to choose, but like to sort of make my own paints because it's not really a build. I completely disagree. I like showing off the designs for people. Like the, the trending designs for people that like they decide to use for, for these vehicles. Because they look absolutely amazing. It's definitely something... That is a lot better than, and obviously it, it shows that people actually take time to do their builds. And uh, I kind of really like the way people people make their cars, or and people like modify and design their paints and stuff like that, which I really really enjoy for for these guys. And that's why I like showing off the trending uh, people that actually do these builds. And I don't really do this. I do this first of all because I'm lazy, uh, and it's gonna be very annoying for me to try and build or pretty much design a. Uh, 
a um, a vinyl or a just pretty much make a design for every single build that I do. So it's kind of cool to show off other people's designs and people that actually take pride in their work instead of me just slapping a few things together and then calling it a design myself. So that's why I go ahead and I show off people's designs, especially people that are in the trending and I uh, get the show off to gamer tag and stuff like that. So I really like this design, by the way. That's why I'm keeping it on right now. Uh, it, I think it looks really, really good. Uh, the, I know some people wanted to see uh, the uh, the Herbie paint on this thing. I'm not going to put it on. Uh, I'm not really a big, big, big fan of it. Um, he's, uh, I like the <laughs> I like the little straight up hippo. Maybe next year Need for Speed or next time Need for Speed. Uh, you can slap on my logo somewhere. That'd be kind of sick. But still, uh, that's pretty cool to have your logo in the game. Um, well done to uh, the straight up hippo. There's a, uh, again, there's still a few designs here that I kind of want to keep on. There's a lot, like these, the beetle is probably one of the most customizable characters in this game, so I'll probably come back to this thing and, um, like, I think probably get rid of it, or maybe I can buy another one and I can sort of build it in, in a different way, or maybe I can just change the, uh, the whole thing for this thing. I don't really know exactly how that's going to work if I decide to go ahead and change this thing to, let's say, like a drift car or an off-road vehicle, just so I can see what all the parts and super builds for those are. So anyway, I'm going to take it out. I'm going to drive this thing and show you guys what it's like when I actually go ahead and uh, and race this thing. It's not it's not slow, but it's not incredibly fast either. I'm going to go actually, uh, first of all, before I do anything, and I'm going to take a picture of this thing from the back because this looks absolutely insane as a drag car from the rear end. So I'm going to do that, and that is going to be my thumbnail for the video, so there you go. For anyway. Okay, so I'm driving this thing around and it handles absolutely nothing like like a normal drag build or like just any of my other drag cars. Maybe because it has a wheelie bar? But this, I can't wheelie with this thing. Look at this thing. I'm gonna show you guys now, right? I'm gonna from completely stopped. If I go to the side and I try to wheelie, it just doesn't work. It clearly doesn't work. I want to see if I can actually get this thing to pop a wheelie. I don't know if that's actually going to work. I want to try and accept that bet where it shows you, um, where it tells you to pretty much pop a wheelie for four seconds. This thing just doesn't go into a wheelie anymore. It was completely different. Turning this thing into a super build completely changed the car, the way it handles. I didn't actually know that. I thought it was all just visual changes that, uh, that were made for this thing. There is very noticeable handling changes to the vehicles by turning it into a super build. That's absolutely insane. There you go, wheelie for four seconds. I want to see if I can actually do this. That'd be really, really funny. So I'm going to accept it. Just so it pops up on my screen. I mean, I feel like this thing is just definitely something, not something they want to go like against. It's not super fast. I can go this to get this thing like a lot faster than it actually is right now. Total wheelie time, zero. It just doesn't wheelie. It's a lot more planted. I think my top speed's been raised as well by a little bit. I don't know if that's just because I added a specific part to it or is it because of the super build. But it's really fast. It's really fast now and for some reason it doesn't wheelie. Maybe, obviously, even though like it's it's there, it's not really touching the round, the, the wheelie bar, but I mean... That's pretty much what it's there for. It's supposed to prevent you from doing a wheelie so you can actually handle with the front wheels on the actual ground. But I did expect a little bit of... I did expect a little bit of a... Uh, of a gap between the rear wheels and the ground. And expected this to actually lift a little bit, but... It just doesn't. And I can actually handle with this thing, because before... It used to pop a wheelie and hold it for so long that I couldn't actually steer. Yes. It's pretty yes. sick. That is a pretty sick beetle, and I'm pretty happy with that. So again, I didn't get, Another win. I didn't get the uh, the target for the wheelie. I just go zero seconds. It just didn't pop a wheelie at all. That's pretty sick. There you go. There you go. Instantly popped the wheelie. Instantly. All right, you, you guys ready for this? Look how long it's staying in the wheelie, and it takes so long for the front end to come back down again. And if the ground is a little bit bouncy. The front oh it's it handles completely differently. If the front lifts up slightly, obviously I have no steering input whatsoever. There's a huge difference now from what it was before. Look at it. It just goes into I can't turn. Obviously I can't turn because my front wheels aren't on the ground. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you guys very much for watching. 
and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.